I can turn into a fish. Chapter 31, Unavoidable Enemies Yes, it really is a coincidence. The young man said with a terrible expression, gripping his fists tightly. Brother Chin, who is this kid? What happened? Asked one of the young men by the side. The group of young men watched in confusion, unsure what to make of the situation. He's just a reckless idiot. The man with the sports car said with a cold glare. He he. Chu Xian looked over with a placid smile and asked mockingly, Is your car done with its repairs? Are you fucking asking to die? The young man burst out. He'd been pushed past his limit, so he swung his fists and punched at Chu Xian's face. Chu Xian saw his fist flying over and excitement flashed in his eyes. Now that his body had been upgraded, he didn't have anything to fear and was just excited to see how strong he really was. Chu Xian moved and easily dodged the attack. Extending his arm, he threw a fast punch at the young man's chest. Peng. Without using his full strength, his single punch still sent the young man reeling, clutching his chest with a pained face. Fuck, you're fucking courting death, how dare you attack our brother? With a delayed reaction, the young man by the side rushed forward angrily in defense. Hung. Chu Xian snorted coldly and fearlessly stepped forward to meet their strikes. His clear gaze took in all their movements, and swinging both fists rapidly, smashed all the attacks coming his way head on. Ah. Fuck, it hurts. Fuck him up. A young man who'd punched Chu Xian's fist cried out in pain, gripping his hand while screaming, cold sweat appearing on his forehead. Chu Xian took a couple steps back, shaking his numbed hands. Although his body had toughened up and the strikes weren't too painful, his fists were still made of normal flesh and blood. Fuck him up. The sports car young man yelled, glaring at Chu Xian. Fuck him. Let's attack together. The young men all swung their fists and attacked once again. Like them, Chu Xian also had no fighting experience, but his reactions were fast and his movements were strong, facing an entire group of young men, he wasn't unfairly matched. Even though he was hit a couple of times, he shrugged the blows off easily, and every one of his punches made the other men cry out in pain. In the end, the mob wasn't able to overcome him, and Chu Xian also didn't dare to continue fighting against so many by himself, so soon the two parties pulled apart. Chu Xian rubbed his fists, extremely satisfied with his fighting abilities. If this had happened two days earlier, he would probably be lying on the floor right now. Come at me, scum. I dared to smash your car because I'm not afraid of you. Come at me. Chu Xian gestured arrogantly at the sports car owner, mocking him. The young man glared at him with a black face, but when he saw the bloodied nose and swollen faces of his companions, he said furiously, Kid, just you wait. This isn't over. You think I'm scared? Trash. Chu Xian pointed at him and said disdainfully, if you're too scared to fight then I'm leaving. I'll look forward to our next meeting. Chu Xian turned away with a sneer, and straightening his clothes, returned to his car. Brother Qin. One of the sidekicks looked at the furious sports car young man and called out in low voice. Fuck. The sports car man ground his teeth in anger, and he looked on with an ugly expression as the expensive Land Rover left. Brother Qin, who is he? The sidekick asked. Him. The sports car young man said with a gloomy face, he's the guy who smashed my car. His sidekick's face changed color several times, and he turned towards the disappearing Land Rover. He carefully asked, Chin brother, what's his background? Where does he get the courage to do something like that? The sports car man angrily rubbed his mouth. Spitting on the ground, he said, I don't care who he is. I'm not letting this go. After these words, the young man turned towards Zhao Kuazi's fish farm and stalked over and went inside. The several young men behind him were stunned but still followed him in. Zhao Kuazi had heard the fight from inside the fish farm when it started, 
But after seeing that Qin De Hai's son, Qin Ziyu, was involved, he immediately retreated. Everyone who owned fish farms in the FT zone knew you couldn't anger the Qin family. This wasn't because they were rich or powerful, but because they had the ruthless Qin De Hai. When Qin De Hai was young, he was just a fisherman from another city, but then he started renting fish farms and made some money raising fish. When the Feng Tai Lake was auctioned off, many rich people flooded in from other cities. Qin De Hai also wanted a slice of the pie and prepared to lease a portion of the lake, but just as he was about to claim his prize, an outsider came and stole it away. The furious Qin De Hai took up a slaughtering fish knife and attacked the other man, seriously injuring him. Qin De Hai spent a year in prison but came back and brought several ruthless helpers with him. Everyone on the Feng Tai fish farms knew the story, and no one dared to cross him. Soon, Qin De Hai used his methods to take over a portion of Feng Tai Lake and continued farming fish. In the span of a decade, every time Feng Tai Lake's zones were auctioned, Qin De Hai used any methods necessary to get the largest fish farm, which was usually equal in size to the fish farms by the sea. Qin Ziyu was also a rotten egg. He had inherited his father's arrogance and used his father's reputation to gather a group of delinquents to scare and intimidate people. Yo, Zhao Kuaziai. Qin Ziyu yelled when he saw Zhao Kuaziai in front of him. Just now a kid left your place, who is he? Ah Qin Ziyu, I don't know who this young man is, he just came today to buy my fish farm. Zhao Kuaziai answered with a smile. To buy your fish farm. Qin Ziyu's eyes flashed. You sold your fish farm to him? Yes, yes. He will come here this afternoon. Tomorrow, this place will belong to him. Zhao Kuaizi nodded. He's coming back in the afternoon? Very good. Qin Ziyu said with a vicious expression. Anywhere else, maybe I couldn't touch you but in my territory. Humph, just you wait. I'll show you the consequences of messing with me. Chu Xian had no idea of the trouble in store for him while he calmly drove to the bank. Zhao Kuazi I wanted cash, and Chu Xian also needed to print a copy of his ID card. After finishing with his errands, Chu Xian stopped for lunch before returning to Zhao Kuazi I's farm.